Today we are going to make some really easy and inexpensive dollar store organization tools. What you see me doing here is I have the paper towel holder and I'm just straightening it out because it was a little bent um, from just traveling. So I was straightening it out here and you're gonna need four of the napkin holders from the Dollar Tree. Take two of your napkin holders and a zip tie and just place, you're gonna place two zip ties to hold these securely to your paper towel holder on the bottom there. And this project is almost embarrassingly easy and has such a cool function that I'm gonna show you at the end. Clip off the end of your zip ties like this and then do the same exact process at the top. You're gonna to take your two napkin holders, um, zip tie them twice to your paper towel holder and then clip the edge of your zip tie and you'll have two ovals on your paper towel holder just like this. Can't wait to show you what I do with it at the end. The next project, another two napkin rings and this one is a fun, um, almost macrame, but not macrame, but I'm using the macrame twine. And what, <laughs> let me tell you, I learned a hard lesson. Don't undo your twine from the roll, keep it on the roll. So the, this first time around, I have to really mess with my twine like this and really um, kind of fight with it. Then I learned that I never should have unrolled it from now, you see, yeah, that's how that's supposed to work. If you keep it wrapped on your twine roll, you can just easily wrap it around and through the center of your napkin holder. And these are so cute. Here you see the flat primer in white from Rust-Oleum, and I am gonna give this silver tray from the Dollar Tree two good coats of the white primer, and I'm also gonna spray two of the napkin holders with the same white primer. Yeah, I'm just showing you, that's the, the Dollar Tree tray and nap, two napkin holders. I absolutely love this little caddy. It has become one of my favorite things on my craft room desk. So here you see me giving a nice clean bead of hot glue. I was trying to be as neat as possible. And then I line it up in the center and I'm gonna do the same thing to this one and I'm gonna line them up and put them right next to each other to make a nice oval in the center of my tray. And here's how I styled all three of these. I love the paint caddy because it holds my big bottles in the center and it holds tons of small bottles. This is the caddy holding my tongue depressors and glue sticks and my scissors. Our first step is going to be to use this awesome Fusion Ultra Grip and then begin applying. We're gonna have to pat it in because there's so many grooves and lines on the bottom here. And we're gonna paint the outside of the tray. We're not gonna paint the inside of the tray. We're gonna paint the outside of the tray and I'll show you why because it's gonna give us an awesome look of an actual ceramic tray. So we just want a little bit of this on here. Now that we've let our Ultra Grip dry for an hour or so, we're ready for the next step in which we're gonna be using Fusion Mineral Paints Paisley. It's a brand new color that they've just created. Get it in here and remember, we're gonna to have to pat this on because there's such a detailed bottom here. And if you have these little hairs come off, don't worry, it's gonna happen when you use 50 cent chip brushes. But that's all that you need for this project and it will come out looking perfect. Just gonna come through and get this little groove all the way across right here. Take long strokes. Make sure we get it in on the first coat and all the little nooks and crannies that we can. And we're just finishing up drying our second coat of Fusion's Paisley. 
looks awesome on this end, but look how cool it looks on this end. It makes it look like a ceramic dish. Super cool. And for the next step, we've let both of our coats of paint dry. We're going to flip our tray over and we're going to begin using these IOD lemon drop transfers. So we're going to pull off the backing and begin to stick it down many times on a very slick surface like this you won't even need your rubbing instrument many times you can just do it with your finger like i am when it's something this slick and slippery now remember guys you don't want to push too too hard because you don't want to rip your um, rip you don't want to crack your tray here it is plastic even though it doesn't look like it's plastic it is and see how we're not even having to use the transfer applicator because the more I push down on this, the more chance we have to actually crack the tray before we finish it. So I've got it on here. It looks nice. We're going to have another one that we're going to use. You can use your fingernail on this one, like I said. Whenever it doesn't stick, don't pan it. Just put it right back down and rub on it a little bit more. And we've now got our transfer on. Now we've let the bottom dry and we've added our transfer inside. We're gonna add some gilding wax and gold. Just around the edge, just to give it a final finished and polished look and at this point in time this doesn't really look like it costs a dollar anymore now our gilding wax is on there and complete. I hope you guys have enjoyed this tutorial on how to create this awesome, unique catch-all tray for your keys and phones as much as I've enjoyed showing it to you guys. And remember, I'll catch you guys on the flip side. Mm -hmm.